Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working here on a Dodge Dart, guys, and we'll show you how to remove and how to replace front door lock actuator, guys. Front door lock actuator. We'll demonstrate on the front left, front right. It's exactly the same way, guys, as this one. We'll explain what needs to be done. Uh, if you need to replace that thing, guys, and if you need to purchase one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below and the part number. Now, uh, quick introduction, guys. Every every car we get at the shop, guys, we make at least uh, at least 200 videos, and we'll do the same thing with this Dodge Dart. Why? Because our mission here at the shop, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. In addition, if you need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, and you can see where you can purchase all that for a super good price and fast shipping as well. So this is, guys. Okay, this is the door lock actuator out of the driver door okay you can see that's what it looks like quite a bit of, a, of work to get to it actually so it's a 2015 dodge but it should cover the whole generation we'll go ahead start on it and we'll show you guys what needs to be done okay to remove and replace that thing let's start on it now so what do you need to do now guys okay we need to start uh, removing a few things okay we have a few hidden bolts screws like that so we can do that and First, we will need to remove the master window switch, okay, in order to be able to remove the door panel. So check it out, you grab a plastic panel remover tool, pry it up, you have four clips, let's show where the clips are, one, two, three, four, perfect, and now guys, all we have to do, we have to disconnect our wiring harness, press in, pull out, amazing, we're done there. So that being said guys, what else we need to do, okay, we need to remove that cover here, with the same plastic panel remover tool get underneath okay we'll show you where all the clips are guys so you know what to expect and you don't break things okay one two three four two of the metal ones actually stayed here so we have to squeeze them one is plastic one is metal okay i'll go ahead and grab pliers and show you how to get them out so you can see guys we got this clip out and we're going to position it on the plastic piece otherwise you won't be able to install it we have the metal one this one may fall in so we'll see yeah it will go all the way in so we'll have to remove the door panel to get to it i think otherwise i don't think we'll be able to <laughs> get it out it's it's plastic one i thought it was metal but it's not this is a plastic one as well so if you mess with it you might be able to get it out, but it may take you a while. So we'll do that when we remove the door panel. But you got the idea. We have another cover right here that we need to remove. And under this cover you will have, okay, another bolt here, screw. And this one looks like it's, uh, okay, 7 millimeter. All the tools and parts that we use guys, we have the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, so please feel free to check it out. Right, this one is out. Now, what else we have? Under this door handle we have another cover. Okay, and this cover has a few clips, three clips, one, two, three. And under this one we have a 10 millimeter okay it looks like it's a 10 millimeter bolt let's see how tight that thing is a little tight okay it's almost almost out now It's actually a screw, I don't think it's a bolt, because if it's a bolt it goes way easier than that, screws usually. Well it is a bolt, I guess it is a bolt. So next guys we need to get a Torx 20 star looking bit and we need to remove two more screws that we have right there under the door handle, uh, the one that you pull. Now there are two designs of uh, door panels on Dodge Dart but the procedure will be very similar I think, it will not differ too much. Even though we're demonstrating on the front left, it should work for the front uh, right as well, guys. Procedure will be about the same. Left and right side. Because as you can see, it's practically, guys, the same door panel. Okay, 
Okay, we just have one more that we need to remove towards the bottom. They're very deep, uh, sometimes hard to hard to see as well. So let's just point the light a little bit. Okay, so we can see. And that way you will know what you need to do because if you need to remove your door panel, you can damage things if you don't know how to. I've seen people pry, pull, break clips all kind of stuff so you want to avoid that as much as you can guys perfect now we get a plastic panel removal tool we should have only the clips holding that in place so what we are going to do actually we are going to get it between the door panel okay and the door itself and you need to pry okay perfect now if any of the clips break it could it could happen guys especially if they're super tight or sometimes if they're old the plastic will be more fragile we'll have the uh, link in the description of the video below to see where you can buy new ones from so looks like this one is pretty pretty tight okay came loose now okay let's see if it goes in up now slide it up and looks like we're hitting somewhere let's see if it's in the cover i think it's in the cover for the mirror okay right here we should have removed that one it has only two clips okay perfect came out and now the door panel comes out guys what we need to do, we have the wiring harness, we have the locking cables here. So we need to disconnect all that. Let me show you now how, hopefully you will be able to see guys how to do that. Okay, because that's not as easy as you think. Okay, this one. We're going to disconnect that cable right there. Okay. Let's see what that cable is for okay perfect this one now we have all the room to show you guys how to disconnect the cables for the for the door handle because one is a locking cable one is actually the cable that opens opens the door so uh those are pretty simple actually this one okay you're supposed to just grab it okay and pull it out it has uh, clips holding it then you come in an angle like that and okay get it out careful not to bend it because this is uh, uh, easy to bend now this one okay we need to turn it okay i'll turn it and we'll get a uh, pliers okay small pliers and we're going to push it on each side or with a screwdriver one at a time no okay it started coming out okay it's extremely tight guys okay comes out and now we come in an angle and pull it out okay and you can see the door panel came out let us show you now where all the clips are on the back side so we know what to expect now you are going to have guys okay one guy here clips check it out one okay came loose okay that's okay right here okay that clip okay we need to remove that one and we need to install it on the door panel then we have one there you have a few different kinds okay on the on the front so this is uh, this is the one that we need to remove over let's see how it's going to work now We might need to get the metal clip removal too. Let me go ahead and grab it quick. So this one, you can see how it's stuck. The white piece is supposed to stay on the door. So everywhere guys that the white piece is out of the door, what do you have to do? Okay, you have to pop that thing and install it on the door panel. Okay, like that, perfect. Now, 
this one right here okay it's going to fly away so you have to be careful we need to come and <laughs> get it loose too if we can so let's see how that's going to happen I hate that design so what we're going to do okay let's see if we can pull that clip out okay if we pull it out I wonder if we can go ahead and install that clip on the door okay and see if we can do it here No, this clip just, this is stuck guys, but the two pieces are supposed to separate each other. Ours just doesn't want to. If yours breaks guys like ours did, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, but you get the idea, okay, where all the clips are and what needs to be done. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And here around the speaker we have six, seven, eight, nine. Those are yellow. You can see nine clips holding that door panel and a few bolts and screws. So next, what do we need to do? We actually need to go ahead and uh, plug our window switch. Why? Because we will need, guys, okay, to bring the window down, okay, to a certain point. You can see right here we have two caps. Okay, we're connecting the switch. Open them. And we need to bring the window to here so we can disconnect it. We're going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. Okay, let's see if we if we have the key here. Okay, perfect. That's it. Now we will bring the window down. Up, oh, up, oh, too much, too much. A little bit more. Up, oh, too much. <laughs> okay, let's see. This one will work. This one will work too. Okay, you can see we have two bolts here that we need to remove now. Those are, okay, one more time. Those are with eight millimeter, guys, eight millimeter socket. We'll get them loose and uh, we should be able to pull the window up, hopefully, we'll see. So let's see if we can do that now. First one there. Okay, we actually had the seven millimeter, we didn't have the eight. So the eight millimeter, okay, we have it on the impact there. And we'll start with the front one. I think you just get it loose a few times. Okay, you don't have to remove them. Don't remove them. That's it. That's good. And one on this side. Like one or two revolutions, I think. We're going to figure it out, guys, together. So we'll grab and see if it's going to start coming up. If it's not, we, need to, uh, we may need to get them loose more. So let's see okay still holding so what i'll do i'll i'll start getting them loose okay while well, one person okay is trying to pull it out okay it needs to come all the way out all the way out guys we have to remove the bolts all the way you don't just get them loose because they're holding through the window but you have to be careful not to drop them when you remove them on some models you just loosen those a little bit on some you remove them all the way it really depends on how they design that stuff but you're going to see how we're going to do it now okay perfect first bolt is out now let's do the second one Okay, this one is coming out, shorter ball than the first one from what it seems. So, we'll go ahead, okay, it should be able to come loose now, yep, it did. So we'll come on the outside, we're going to grab the window, and in, in the middle guys, in the center, grab it in the center, pull it up. Okay, now it's disconnected from the window regulator, I'll hold it up while we tape it with duct tape. So that way it's not going to drop and break. Okay, while we're unhooking the regulator. Now 
Okay, perfect. Just like that. If you don't want to tape it, you can remove it. We will show you how to do that as well, guys, so you know what to do, but uh, it's up to you. Uh, we will actually go ahead and remove it and show you in case you need to replace your window how to do that as well. So once you unhook it, okay, you can go up on one side, down on the other one, and gently, guys, pull that window out. Okay, here we need to remove that, okay, that thing, we need to remove it because there is a window guide there, okay? And that's where the two bolts attach to, okay? Check it out, one and two. And the window you can see is out of the door now. So completely, completely removed, guys, as you can see, not, nothing holding here now. So next, we're next to the side airbag sensor, that red thing right here, guys, this is your side crash impact sensor. So go ahead and disconnect the car battery at least for one hour, guys, before the repair, that way you will minimize the Oh, but the chance for something terrible to happen, airbags can kill you, can kill your passengers, guys. Super, super dangerous thing. So uh, always disconnect the car battery at least one hour before the repair. If you're not qualified and certified to work on those things, don't, guys, because it could, okay, it could be deadly. And consider this entertaining video, not a how-to video. But what we need to do next? Our car battery is disconnected. Now we're going to remove the window motor. Okay, with Torx 25, let us show you Torx 25, start looking bit. So working on that window motor now. Perfect, we'll pull it out. And now let us explain you guys, okay, how to disconnect it right here. There is one thing that you need to pry up and at the same time you pull it out and the motor is out of there. What else we need to do now? Okay, here we need to get a 10 millimeter and we have the uh, little screwdriver. I think the power screwdriver will be able to do that. And we need to start removing, guys, a few bolts. Okay, so we might need to, okay, either pre-loosen those or get the impact. Those are pretty, pretty tight. So I'll grab 10 millimeter and we'll come back. So with the 10 millimeter now, Okay, one bolt is out. Some of those are super tight, guys. That shouldn't be that tight. I don't know what is happening here. We'll get, actually, uh, we're going to get the ratchet and we'll see if that's gonna happen to remove all of them. So let me see if I can remove a few more. Okay, one more came out. So let me see. This one is still tight. Two. Okay. Okay, we're doing a few more. Okay, looks like the one on top are super tight. Okay, I don't know if it's uh, because maybe water, humidity got it. Perfect, now we just have one more right here that was stuck earlier. It may start going now. 
Yep, perfect. Now let's see guys what else we need to do here. If we have anything else holding, if it's just the seal here. Okay, we need to be careful. Okay, because, okay, one second now. The window regulator is holding here. It needs to come out on the bottom first. On the bottom, guys. Okay, we need to come this way. And I think we need to tilt it from what it seems. Okay. Really, really complicated design. So let's check it out and see if that's the case. If we need to remove anything else here. No, nope, it's still holding here something. Oh, one more bolt. <laughs> we didn't. Because it seems like the bottom part should come out first. Okay, and when you come on, on the bottom, you slide it down some. Okay, but the other thing is... <laughs> A little, really complicated design, guys really really complicated design the way they invented that thing so let's figure it out so we don't waste your time so much and uh, we'll continue in just a second oh came loose on top i think oh the, the, the wire for the mirror guys the wire for the mirror is holding we need to disconnect it and we need to remove the clip with a panel removal tool now Okay, right there, perfect, came out. Now, let's see if that's going to give us more room. Or we'll need to disconnect the wiring harness. Okay, yep, it came out on this side, but we're still holding on this side right here. Remember how those cable were? We need to install them exactly the same way we remove them. So, the second part of the regulator is right there, still holding. Okay, we have a clip here. We have some kind of clip, guys. So it looks like we broke something here. That's why it's a good thing to always watch the video before you actually do it, because I think it will come with the uh, door lock actuator at the same time, both of them. Okay, not just the uh, window regulator and the cover, but the door lock actuator. So we'll see that in a second. Okay, one bolt is out. Torque sturdy, start looking big. Second bolt now, coming out. Third bolt now. Okay, and let's see what else is holding here now, guys. It looks like something else is still holding. We have the door handle, exterior door handle that now we need to remove. So we're going to get a Torx 25 star looking bait. Okay, let me show you now. That's what it looks like. Here we have one cover that we need to remove for the exterior door handle. Okay, that needs to come out. And right here inside you have actually one bolt, guys. Okay, now I'll explain how to take that one off. Not very complicated. Just get in the slot there. Okay, you're going to find the bolt eventually. Somewhere there, a little bit to the right. Ha! Huh. Almost, almost had it. Okay, let me see now. Because I can see it from this angle a little bit better. Okay, right there. Now you start unscrewing that and at the same time, okay, when you unscrew, you're going to open the door handle a little bit and you're going to see if that door lock, cylinder door lock is going to come loose, perfect, we're ready, we're ready, don't go more because you're going to drop the screw, okay, that's great, now what else we need to do, we need to go ahead and actually remove the exterior door handle, grab it this way, slide out, come out and, okay, careful because I'm going to break it, and we need to disconnect the wire, press in, pull it out, perfect, now we have a Torx, 25, screw right there, okay, great, now that assembly, okay, let me see, I'll pull 
that door seal out we will need to install it later and that assembly guys will need to okay here there is one clip push it in slide it out okay like that and now let's check it out if everything will come out together or not but we now have the wiring harness in the way too this is simply guys ridiculous whoever thought about that design I mean they probably have a good reasoning behind it but working on it it's it's a well insulated door that's for sure it's really nice it's quiet that way and let's see this board what's holding here if it's holding something for the inside or if it's not this is more this is 20 star looking big because it looks like check it out when i move okay that bo that bolt moves too okay smaller a little bit smaller okay perfect <laughs> very long screw that was holding here guys so as you see it takes some learning guys so definitely it's not as easy as you would think now we have the wiring harness there we need to make sure that we don't pull too much on our wires and at the same time we are trying to feed everything out of here okay we have one more clips that uh, we'll need to disconnect on the bottom that holds the wiring harness in place otherwise i don't think we'll be able to without damaging any wires okay we have to be careful because we're putting too much pressure and we're gonna break something if we keep doing that okay one second okay came out <laughs> check this thing out the whole assembly guys what we broke here okay it's that thing okay over there let me show you now okay you can see just like that so so what we did guys now okay looking at it okay let me analyze quick if we slid that panel towards the back okay so the panel will come towards the back it's going to release okay there is a clip right here so if we release that clip somehow okay let's see on the inside on the outside there is no way to do that okay there is no way but for putting it together now guys okay in order to put it together you need to release that clip okay and when we release that clip guys okay right here we're going to slide that thing out okay check it out now and now we'll be able to put together okay uh, the door lock actuator and the exterior door handle mechanism install it on the door and then install the window regulator but without removing everything apart you won't be able to guys you can see but after that you put them in pieces you put these two together on the door and then you install the third one because i don't think you will be able to reach really good with your hands and install things so guys quick to uh, now show you when putting it together guys okay you have to separate it okay these two pieces so we can install your exterior door handle mechanism okay and your okay and um, your door lock actuator so that tooth okay bring it out like that bring it up okay and slide it out ours is broken as you can see we broke it guys we should have been way more careful okay so we, uh, if yours is not broken you have to disconnect okay that clip okay right here ah almost got underneath okay perfect so we're going to fix ours guys it's going to be one whole piece okay it will be attached okay let me see right there guys on the bottom and we broke ours you can see that's how it's supposed to be now we need to disconnect okay the wire for the 
uh, exterior door handle assembly, the one for the keyless entry. Some of you will not have that one, some of you will, depending on the package that the car has, all the options and all that stuff. So we got the wire out, now we're going to press down there to disconnect this wire. Okay, perfect. And only thing now, cables. Okay, so we're going to remove the cables now and feed those out of the way. Check it out now. And we need to re disconnect the exterior door handle okay from the door lock actuator right here we need to open that piece okay like that slide it disconnect the cable unlocking cable like uh, uh, opening cable excuse me uh, so we need to bring it up squish right there in the middle okay come out just like that and only thing left now is there is one tooth we press it up and we slide that thing over okay guys and this is your door lock actuator is out of the car you can see if you need to remove that rail that's the only thing holding now all we have to do just disconnect it there pretty simple if you need to buy a new one guys uh, the link will be in the description of the video below thank you guys for watching please subscribe to our channel for more videos and uh, putting it together is in reverse order we took it apart thank you for watching see you next time